Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Hour. Jumping in again on an 8 win streak. Can you actually believe it? It's kind of incredible. Um, I think this time I'm going to play as regular old Kane and I'm going to go for either Mega Satan or Mother. We'll see. We'll see. I need to do some more Greed Mode stuff soon. Uh, that's certainly in the back of my mind. Apparently, I need to do Tainted Apollyon Greed Mode as well to unlock the Tainted Rocks from the Repentance Plus mod. Apparently, that's something that it has like a dual unlock or something. Like, I already have the Rocks unlocked, but I don't have the Red Rune unlocked, and therefore they don't show up or something like that, is what someone said in the comments, and I trust... That is correct. Uh, Linger Bean as our first item is a little bit terrible. It's not actually that bad of an item. It's it's mainly its trigger um, amount that, that makes it pretty bad. Um, if it triggered more often, it'd be pretty darn good. But it just, it just doesn't really trigger very often. And therefore, it's kind of incapable of dealing any decent damage. Uh, a little bit of a shame. But playing as Kane, of course, does mean that all our pills are good. I'm going to have to remember that. I often do not. But this is probably, barring Azazel, I think this is the, the best character, um, Vanilla, in the game. Um, I just think, like, non-tainted especially, but I, I just think he has, like, obviously really, really good stats. The fact that he starts with more speed and more damage is amazing. And then, yeah, Lookfoot's actually kind of absurd with the fact that it gives you, like, the higher odds, uh, the actual look up itself, and the uh, positive pills. It's just he, he's just kind of nutty. Um, and then the paperclip itself, it's not a, it's not like crazy good, but it's a pretty good bonus. I mean, balls of steel off of the bat is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, he's just an all-round good fella. All-round good fella. Uh, as for the question of the day today, I'm going to ask a slightly Isaac-related one. If you could transfer over a character from another game into a character in Isaac, what character would that be, and uh, how would you go about transferring that character over to the Binding of Isaac? How exactly would you make them fit in, and like, how how would their gameplay work? I think it really should use my bomb on the Nickel Eyed Keeper. Um, oh well. But yeah, it'd be interesting to hear some of your guys' opinions on uh, on some of those. I'm trying to think um, of what I'd, I'd sort of want to see. One that, that, like, I wouldn't say it's exactly my favourite, but one that for some reason jumped into my mind there is uh, Stitch from the the animated, like, TV show slash films. Um, like, Lilo and Stitch. I don't know why, but, I, like, there's a game called Stitch 626 for, like, the PlayStation and stuff that I absolutely loved, and it just made me think of the gameplay in that game. And, like, the idea of, like... I know that Stitch himself doesn't really have these powers, but kind of like the idea of like the different transformations and types of Stitches that they are. And I, honestly, I don't remember how that show works. I'm going to be honest, but I just like that. I, I liked it and I think it'd be cool. <laughs> I'm not going back on it now. Um, I've said it now, whether it was dumb or not. I'm sure some of you out there are aficionados in Stitch law and are going to be like, Hey Turtle, what the fuck are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. I'm sure that's very true. Oh, Golem's Orb. That is amazing. So I said I might do Mother here. We've actually got a really good start here. So I'm going to uh, make my way down this way. I mean, a really good start. My goodness. I have to say, I've had an absolutely fantastic day thus far. Um, I think I said in either yesterday's episode or the day before that it's been really nice recently and I wanted to go for a walk and today, today was such a day. It was very, very nice. Oh, you little bastard. He rained on me. Um, it's been very, very nice out today um, and it's a bank holiday so I had most of the day off work. Um, I did do a little bit of work this morning but I had most of the day off work. Um, and so I, um, I thought, let's just go out for the day. Let's just go walking. My girlfriend's at work, unfortunately, so it was just me on my own. But I was like, I'm just going to go out and uh, have a bit of a walk. So I put on the Office Ladies podcast, which is the uh, the US office, uh, pod like a podcast about the US office with uh, Jenna Fisher, who plays Pam, 
and um, Angela Kinsey, who plays Angela Martin on the TV show, just going over um, the episodes, like, one by one. I've, I've, I've listened to all of them up to date at the minute, but I just went back and listened to some old ones, because there's, like, 160 of them at this point. So there's, there's a hell of a lot of them. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was really nice. Uh, they're about an hour to an hour and a half apiece. I ended up watching, like, two whole ones while I was out. And I just walked to the town centre... I had a really, really nice meal, because uh, obviously I've been dieting at the minute, um, but um, because I went on such a long walk, I probably burnt a ton of calories, so I got something that I've been kind of craving. There's this place in the town centre that does, like, uh, 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 like Jamaican chicken and, uh, and like, jollof rice and stuff, and oh my god, it's amazing. I got it with a bit of plantain as well. It was truly just so, so nice. Um, it's something I haven't had in a while, because I just haven't been able, able to, really. And so, yeah, it was a really nice day. Um, I, before I set off, actually, I, I, I didn't think I was going to end up eating while I was in town, so I ended up getting some food. Oh, my bad. Uh, I ended up getting some food, and I got I went to Subway and just got, like, a little tuna wrap. Uh, um, nothing nothing big, of course. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, nothing big, of course. Um, but the guy that works there, there's, like, a few people that work there that I see there very, very regularly because the Subway is really, really close to where I live. Um, and uh, I used to go in, like two to three times, maybe four times a week um, when I was at my at my peak fat, which I know Subway isn't exactly the most fattening thing, but still, it's better to like make your own food than to like order or get delivery or whatever. Uh, but anyways, I used to go in there quite a lot. Ooh, yes, please. Um, and the main guy that I used to see in there quite a lot um, actually said to me, hey dude, you're like, you're looking a lot thinner and a lot healthier. And I was like, that is a huge confidence boost. Like that... It means, it means so much when it's like some, it's weird, it's like when someone you know tells you, hey, you've lost weight, you're looking great. It, like, it means something, but it's, it's not really like the same as when like someone you don't really know personally, but you might see a lot says it to you. I, I feel like so, so for some reason that just means more. Um, and so yeah, I was like really, really happy that that guy noticed and, uh, and said that. Kind of made my day um, and made me feel a lot better about the dieting that I'm doing. Um, and yeah, like I said, I proceeded to just go out and, and have a little walk. Honestly, Red, Red Min Min is kind of difficult here. Um, just went out and had a nice little walk. And um, yeah, I was out for about three and a half hours and it was it was really nice. Came back. I tried to have a bit of a nap um, just because I was a bit knackered out because it was... It been, been out in the heat all day, been walking a lot. I was a bit knackered. Dude, we are getting some absolutely stonking, stonking good items at the moment. Wow. Um, oh, you bastard. At least we know it exists now. Um, I'm gonna grab Monster Man well, why not? Um, and I am gonna go back and grab this trinket real quick, because we have a slot for it. I could have gulped it then, but I didn't realise I was gonna get a gulp pill now, did I? Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with this. My face, what on earth has happened? Um, and yeah, it's just been, it's just been really nice, and I think... It's still quite nice, I mean, it's like, it's like getting on for 8pm now, so it's a bit late to do this, but, um... Oh, hello, I believe his only friend is actually not bad at all. Um, I'm thinking that I might go out for a little bit of a run because the weather's still nice and it's still fairly sunny. Probably only going to be like that for another like hour or so. So I'll have to see what what it looks like after I finish this video. Um, I wanted to get this out of the way with first because um, I hadn't played Isaac yet today and I was feeling it right now. Um, uh, yeah, I wanted to get it out of the way with, um, and so I'll I'll see how we, how we go after this. Um, I know I don't need to use Blue Baby's only friend here, but I don't know. Feels feels good to use him. Um, and yeah, I might, I might go off for a run because um, it's just making the most of the day sort of thing. And I'm, I'm in a good mood at the minute. I'm sort of in in that bit of a health kick. And like I said, when you get that motivation from people, it kind of motivates me to do a bit more. I've already done quite a lot of exercise today and all the walking I did, but... You can never do too much, really, so... My, my legs are uh, pretty much mostly recovered. For some reason, I don't know why, but I have, like, legs of fucking steel. Like, I've, I've never, ever, like, actively exercised my legs. But I've always had, like, really, like, quite defined muscular legs. And it's just like, okay. I don't, don't really know where they, where they came from, but... I'll accept. I will accept... So the good thing is here that when we when we go to get our um, ooh, more speed, lovely um, little heretic, I will certainly take little heretic. Oh, both very good items there, both from the same mod as well. Um, 
When we go to get our knife piece here, we shouldn't be in too much trouble, I don't think. Let's let's do that now, shall we? Obviously, there's still a little bit of a risk, but basically my thinking here is we can hang out over the rocks and uh, Blue Baby's only friend can, can help us out. We've only got to do two rooms, which is pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, this one is a particularly bad one, uh, especially because of this guy here, but... No! I can't remember the command. I can't remember what it is now. Hmm. What the hell's the command? Is it rewind? How do I close this goddamn menu? Why isn't the menu caught? There you go. Okay. Now, that is cheating, I realise, but... I just want to see how I died there. Oh, these guys are... Okay, that's it. Okay. Didn't realize those guys sh shot at me. So I, I just wanted to find that out. I'm going to rewind again here. It just takes a little while to load. Ugh. Okay. So this, this run is officially dead and the streak is technically dead. But I, I didn't realize that, that, that those guys shot at me as well. That's very annoying. I'm going to continue playing this run, though. I realize that I have technically died, but it's a fun run. I'm enjoying it. Don't judge me. I said at the start of this series that I wouldn't cheat. Turns out I lied to you all. I will cheat. Um, In the name of fun. You see, this run's just blessed. This run's just too good to let go. Um... Yeah, I, I was like, basically, my 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 the reason that happened is my my entire sort of idea, my my theory around how to survive was it's okay, we've got Blue Baby's only friend. We'll hang out over the top of the rocks, and then I walked into this room, and my brain kind of died a little bit because I was like, uh, there isn't really any rocks to hide over. Like, there's these rocks. There was no cluster of rocks, and I was like, um, and I kind of like had a moment where I was like, oh shit, what now? So I tried to kill the little fire dude really fast and didn't really consider how much of a problem the um, the other dude would be, the, 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 the underground guys. I kind of thought they just chased you. I didn't realize the, like, I didn't realize I didn't remember that they shot at you. And so I kind of just bungled it all. Eh, it is what it is. Streak is technically over, but you just have to keep going. One second. I am back. Mid-boss fight, I went to the shop. Uh, my girlfriend came home and um, she wanted to go get some food for tea, so I was like, why not? It's fine, it's fine. But yes, we are on the, the dead run now. We've got, my character's face is so unbelievably messed up, it's hilarious. Holy hell, this, this run is so good. <laughs> like, th there's some runs that you just can't let die. Do you know what? I'll take you as well, why not? You just can't just let die. They're, they're, they're too good not to, and this is certainly one of those runs. And I realise if I get a completion mark here, I'm a little bit... I want to, Not hypocrite, what's the word? Um, but anyways, it's not exactly the, the most... Um, ideal thing to be doing, right? We can get one bomb here at least, um, and then we'll go down to the regular path and try and bomb our way back onto the alt path and see how that goes. Uh, right, so we'll go down here. And we'll go back onto the alt path. What happens if you get a um, a labyrinth here? Or, or, or actually, you probably can't, can't you? Can you? Because you're, you're heading straight onto the second iteration of the floor. So you probably can't get a labyrinth. I've never really thought about that. But yeah, this, this one's stonking. I like it. Um, our little familiars we've got so far are pretty good. Honestly, the, um, the book um, is really good. Especially the later into the run you get, the better it gets, I think. Because... Um, you have the opportunity to get more um, familiars per floor. I'll do a stars card here. Just remember, ooh, what's our range like at the minute? Our range is real bad. Okay, um, I'm going to hold off on that for now because our fire is actually fine and our range is already pretty bad. Like, 4.5. Oh my goodness. This game is so generous right now. Kind of ludicrous. Um, 
But yeah, basically, I'm hoping we can get like a range up pill, maybe. Or, I don't know, maybe a range up from the boss before I take that, just in case. Also, we are on two bombs now to remember not to use them. And we will be golden. We will be golden. But yeah, as I've said in, this, in these videos many a time before, um, if you don't like cheating, watch someone else. Because every now and again, I'm going to do it. Because for one, I play this game for my own enjoyment. It's, it's not really out of... Um, out of some sort of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really even know what I'm trying to say, I'll be honest. Uh, but I, I just, I play to enjoy it. And also, I feel like the, for me, one of the main sort of things is the, the, the content comes above all else. And I think one thing is that I feel like a run that's like got two or three flaws in and then I die, always, the commentary always loses a lot of steam and the video loses a bit of steam as well, just because obviously I'm having to kind of do a whole reset. Um... So it's always a little annoying to have to like do a reset like that. So I prefer not to when pl uh, plausible. Also, it's just like you get a run that you're really enjoying and like grooving with. Um, I don't want to have to give that up. And like, also, I think like, I don't, I, I can't say this for sure. This is just me sort of doing a straw man argument. But um, I feel like you guys can get kind of attached to a run as well sometimes. Sometimes you're like, oh shit, he got this item. That's cool. Oh shit, this is going well, and then, yeah, it loses. Like, especially as well, it's not even just the fact that we died, it's the fact that I died to something that, honestly, I kind of believe to kind of be bullshit. Like, not not as if, the, not the fact that I got hit, that's not the bit that's bullshit. But to me, obviously playing, having played Repentance on a completed save file, I didn't actually know that, um... Another soul heart here. I didn't actually know that the lost in the mirror dimension didn't start with the holy mantle unless you had it unlocked. I just thought that it always had the holy mantle. And I'll be honest, it kind of always should because that, yeah, the fact that you can get one hit killed in the mirror dimension is kind of brutal um, on a new, newer save file. So, And I realized I could have just gone and got the uh, the unlock to prevent that from happening. And I either that or I shouldn't be going to mother until I've got it unlocked. But still... I, I feel like I'm justifying something that people, most of the viewers here don't actually care about me justifying, so I'm going to shut up now. Um, I'm sure most of you don't actually care. It's something that I've explained before, um, and most of you have said you don't care about, so I'm glad. But this this, this run, yeah. Range up, please. Oh, melatonin. melatonin. Only time that I'd be grateful for a range up right now. Give me a mum's heal. Ooh, it's the Fallen. Unfortunately, unlikely to get a range up here, but a Devil Deal is in the cards. A Devil Deal is certainly in the cards. Little Heretic absolutely beaming right now. He's doing such a good job. Honestly, everyone is. It's great. I mean, it's a book at least, but I'm, I'm going to stick with the uh, the better book. Right. Um, the question is now, do I want to take number one? Number one. Do, 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 do. I am your son. We've got two bombs remaining here. I'm going to take it. It's going to be a real blur. I think we're going to go down to about 2.5 range, which is going to be terrible. Um... Okay, that wasn't so bad at all. For some reason, I expected that to be a much larger range down. Maybe it has like a minimum of how much range down you can get. Uh, obviously, our range is still bad, but 0.5 off is like not much. We can definitely regain that through items fairly easily. I mean, a few typically bad boss items now are actually kind of good. And it gave us a pretty stonking big fire rate up as well, so... All in all, not a bad decision. Not a bad decision. I kind of like it when you get, like, a run like this. This It's made up of, like, a few sort of not-so-great items that when, like, combined amongst each other are really good. Like, the, the gulp water bottle t uh, normally is not that great when you get it early because you regularly don't have a trinket, but we got lucky and had a trinket. Plus the two soul hearts are pretty good. The uh, the golem um, rock is okay, but like obviously the soul hearts make it even better if you don't already have them. Number one is kind of one of those items that's like 
not amazing. Oh, that was stupid. Not amazing uh, because of the range down, but we have a situation in which the range down didn't matter so much. Oh, that is a fucking good trinket. Wow. I've been playing a new game recently because uh, I, I, th I think I spoke about on the channel that I've... Uh, Ooh, wasn't this really good? Killing enemy to use a random... Yeah, random chance to use a random card. Good stuff. Um, remember this being really good before. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of spoke on the channel before how I was playing the... Um, the... What, what's it called? Diablo 4 Beta, that was it. Um, ooh, that's a health up. Yes, plus. Um, I was playing the Diablo 4 beta, and I absolutely loved it. I really, really enjoyed my time with the beta, but I've been craving playing it again, but the game doesn't come out for another, like, two months. And so I was like, oh, I should really, like, play some more Diablo 3. But I've got, like, 1,600 hours in Diablo 3, so I'm like, I've kind of played that to death. Maybe I can, like, find another Diablo-esque, like, ARPG sort of game to keep me going. But I've not really looked into the market before of what other ones are out there. Um... And so, yeah, I wasn't really sure, like, what I could find, but I had a look, and um, one of them was called Last Epoch, I think it was called. Uh, then, obviously, there's Path of Exile, um, and then another one I saw was Grim Dawn, um, and I kind of weighed them all up, and it, it kind of looked like... I've played Path of Exile before. It's a fun game, but it is, like, like redonkulously complicated. It's kind of one of those games that you, you need a spreadsheet open at all times to, to thoroughly enjoy. Um, otherwise you're gonna kind of get lost in the sauce a little bit. Dude, this is so annoying. Just fucking die. There you go. What? They didn't even fucking die? There you go. Um, yeah, uh, and so I was like, I don't know. And then Last Epoch, I wasn't quite sure about that one. But, uh, Grim Dawn, I was like, I kind of like the aesthetic, kind of like the style. And I, I bought it and tried it out, and honestly, it's so fucking good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a gamble here. Nah, not even close. Um, yeah, so, so good. If you like Diablo and Diablo-style games, try out Grim Dawn. It's, it's, it's very, very good. Really enjoying it right now. Um, it's got some really, like, unique takes on some of the systems um, that, that normally exist within the games. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just thoroughly enjoying it. It's always nice to, like, find a new game sort of out of the blue like that that you end up, like, thoroughly enjoying. It doesn't happen super often, um... For me, at least. Oh, really? Tower? I mean, tower's not actually bad in the large room. Pop another lucky. What on earth is this guy? I think I've seen this guy before, but I don't recognize him. Also, these underground guys. Kind of scaring me. Okay, apparently they, um... They don't actually mean anything. I was really hoping to get a bomb here to head into our secret room, but... Looking like that isn't super likely. We've got one last room to give it a go. We did get a spin down. Oh, now this is interesting. Does this work on our book, boys? It fucking does. Wow. Okay. And it didn't even take away the two that I actually earn. It only took away. Wow. That That's that's one of the better secret room uh, as I've seen. One of the better uses of those machines. Not only was I able to trade my familiars away, but I was able to tr 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 trade away familiars that I don't even earn. <laughs> And we got some really good shit out of it. That's so fucking good. And now we've got a spin down dice, uh, which means that we will get consolation prize in our next uh, thingy. Although revelations isn't actually unlocked, so I don't think we can actually do that. Um, what 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 else could we get that would be really good? Um, is it toothpicks? Toothpicks is what we want. We really want toothpicks. I'm pretty sure toothpick spins down to sacred heart, right? Come on, you, you can you can do it, game. You can give me what I need. By the way, I absolutely love this boss. This mod that adds the, the new horseman is just so good anyways. Like, the theming of it all is, like, so strong. Such a good idea. And the animations are really good, too. Got to remember, there's going to be a bunch of little soldier guys straight after we kill this dude. Popping up all over the place. Good bomb, my guy. Good bomb. Unfortunately, we haven't traded our hearts away enough to get um, activation of uh, what's it, what's it called yet? What well, assumes is a fire rate up. I'm just gonna take that, and then <laughs> brimstone. Love it. Lusty blood. I don't know what my health is right now, but I'm pretty sure I can take this for empty vessel. 
Okay. This is kind of a god run. Holy shit, our fire rate is nutty. Oh, bollocks. Gamba. Okay, I was like, I, this could kill me, but I gotta try it. Okay. Good to go. I might be on incredibly low health here. Okay, no, that's actually fine. The Pact? What is this run, people? What is this run? Like, imagine if I'd have just left this run to rot in the depths of dying during the mirror dimension. Imagine. Just the the sheer potential that we have right here. It's, it's unprecedented is what it is. Also, Muramai Mur Curses or Mura, I can't remember how to pronounce it, um, with uh, Brimstone is really good. A real good combo. You're thoroughly enjoying life right now. Got a high priest in there as well. Got the fire rate. The fact that obviously number one in this situation is just like only positives, like our range just doesn't matter at all. Very nice. What you doing, bad boy? You wanna there you go. Sit yourself down, thank you. Truly in love. In love with this run right now. There's so many things working in conjunction that just... Oh god, I love it. Uh, is there any way in here? Kind of a dick move. Uh, there must be a button somewhere, right? I don't know. Um, spin down would turn that into whatever the hell that is. I have no idea. Uh, or we could take a random. I'm going to take the random. Willow's pretty good. We'll take Willow. We got the gavel. Which spins down into like a question mark box. Don't know what that is. Could be really good. I've never seen it before. But I kind of want to play with the devil we know rather than the devil we don't sort of thing. Ah, shit. Right. Move it along, nah. Move it along. God damn it. it got, I was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go out for a run after this episode. It is like literally pitch black right now. <laughs> like, it was still like quite sunny outside when I started this episode. Then I went to shop and now it's absolutely pitch black. <laughs> so I guess that idea has been put on the back burner for now. Whoa, what the hell? Fortune? I don't know what happened there, but all the enemies moved around. Was it the D7 card, maybe? Can you like sit your ass down, please? Good sir. No one cares about your flippity flappity wings. I don't know why, but I'm feeling secret room here. Ah, bugger. Do you know, one idea that I've had for a series on Isaac for a really long time, and I was thinking about today, I don't really know if it's a if it's that good of an idea. Uh, I don't know how watchable this would be, but something that uh, I used to do a little bit of and I used to watch a lot of was uh, coaching in video games. Like, uh, name one, I did a few for Overwatch and watched uh, quite a lot of Overwatch ones. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically when um, you, you'll you watch someone's gameplay of them playing a game um, and it'll be someone that typically like is either newer to the game or just isn't really good at the game looking for advice and you watch over it and you commentate while watching and sort of talk about their gameplay and talk about how they could improve and mistakes that they made and i think it could be kind of oh i've only just unlocked gehenna okay that explains things <clears throat> um i don't know what this guy spins down into this is evil wait what if i drop my trinket will it tell me then Dude, prescriptions that like fly off the screen, kind of rude. Goodbye, Mixie boy. I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if it'd be like something that people would enjoy, or but would be something to, that'd be cool to watch. But I kind of like the idea of like some of you guys sending me a video of like your Isaac gameplay. Some of you that are either just starting out or you just feel like you're 
you're not really improving. And it could just be like a run that you, that you think went wrong and you, you I sort of trying to figure out where it went wrong. And I could like review it and do a video of me sort of talking over um, what I think you did wrong or what, what I think improvements you could have made. It'd be an interesting, um, interesting idea. Like I said, I don't know how, how like watchable that is, but it's an idea I've had in the back of my mind for a little while. And I think it could be kind of fun. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just always looking for like new sort of little fun ideas to do with Isaac. And I think that's really fun because it's like, it allows me to help people, which is one, one of the key things. For those of you that, that don't know from way back when I started my channel, one of the things I always set out to do is I set out to entertain, but I also set out to uh, educate in the games that I play. Um, like, it was always a goal of mine to um, make sure that I was teaching people how and why I do the things that I do when I play games, like I, like in Isaac and um, Enter the Gungeon. Now, that aspect of the video has kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit, um, just due to the fact that... The, um, oh, I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Jumped the gun on that. Um... Oh wait, can I fly over this anyways? Oh, it doesn't matter. I can fly over it anyways. Um, yeah, that, that kind of has fallen by the wayside a little bit just because I've been doing Isaac and Enter the Gungeon for so long that I, I'd just be re repeating the same tips over and over again. But if you go back and look at some of my older videos um, on these games, you can see that coming into action a little bit more um, and me sort of speaking through my process a little more about why I do things. Um, and like I said, I think it'd be kind of a fun way to like interact with you guys um, on a, a more regular basis. I, I always like audience interaction. And that's a really fun way you guys send me your gameplay and you get to see me review it and talk about it. Um, but al also I think for some of the newer players to Isaac out there, of which there is still many, by the way. Um, oh, damn it. Burn heal, burn spare. We missed out on it. Baby, do you know what you're worth? I love Molten Dime, I gotta say. But, ooh, BFF into Blue Map into 2020? If only, if only. Right, I'll see if I can get a bit more money gathered up and we'll see what we want to do there because they all look very good to me. BFF pairs really well with that book, but Molten Dime is just kind of crazy. I think BFF's probably the more likely one to take because... Molten Dime just doesn't have as much use in the late game because there's less items. Um, and we're getting to that point now. Um, and also, BFF would work really well on the uh, the last floor of the game because we're going to have a lot more familiars with us. So, I I'm definitely more sticking towards BFF here. God damn this room. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the idea. I think it could be a kind of an interesting little mini-series to do here and there. Or at least try out... Um, I just think that, yeah, there's, like I said, there's a lot of people that are new and pe it, it'll, it'll help the person that I review, but it'll also help a bunch of people that, um, that, like, are watching that are new. And, like, I'm not, it's not to say that I'm, like, some sort of fucking Isaac God that knows everything about the game and I'm instantly going to know better than you where you went wrong and all this sort of stuff. It's not, not to say that. It's more just with my combined, like, almost 2,000 hours in this game. There's probably just some things that I'm going to naturally pick up on. And in my videos, I don't really think about. And something as well that I think people often sort of either forget or don't think about is, like, I realize that I, I fumble in Isaac a lot. I make a lot of mistakes. I, I lose runs. All that sort of jazz. I feel like if I really tried, if I if I was the sort of person playing Isaac where I wanted to win every run, if I really wanted to, I feel like even with the mods that I have on, especially in vanilla, but even with the mods I had on, I, I could pretty comfortably um, win pretty much every run. The humble brag coming out, not humble at all, direct brag. Um, oh, okay, I don't have flight anymore. Where's this penny going to come from? I'm going to have to bomb my machine for one penny, because that's a little bit of a, of a tragedy if I do, but I think I am going to have to, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I feel like, especially if I play, went back to vanilla, I could, I, I, could, I think I could reasonably comfortably, if I was playing as like a normal, like Isaac or something, um, I think I could reasonably comfortably get a, um, a 100 win streak. It just, I just don't try because I don't want to. I think taking the game really seriously like that all the time and playing to win uh, this stage in my Isaac career, I hate calling it a career, but I'm going to call it a career. This stage in like my, my amount of hours with Isaac, I just don't 
find that as interesting anymore, just constantly going for the streaks and stuff. Um, I find it better to just, just go with the flow and do what's fun, take some items that might be bad, but make things more interesting, all that sort of stuff. Um, and so that's what I do. But yeah, I feel like I have, I could have a lot to offer to people that maybe struggle with the game. And I'll be honest, one of, one of the beautiful things about Isaac is learning it on your own. But if people wanted it, then it's there sort of thing. People wanted to send in their Isaac gameplay and have it reviewed. It could be, it just could be an interesting way to interact with you guys, I think. Or some, and just something a little bit new. Like I said, it's not something we need to do. I throw these ideas out there every now and again, just, just to test the waters and see what you think. So do let me know if you think that'd be something you'd be entertained by, or something you'd want to do yourself in terms of sending your own gameplay in. But yeah, I used to do it a little bit for, um, there's a, there's a, a payable data miner in here. That's a really, is that a one cent data miner as well? It is. That's a really interesting idea, actually. That's a really interesting idea. A one cent data miner. <laughs> I like it. That is the true gamble. The true gamble. Can you, I guess, can you, like, be real, my guy? I think this is the, my least favorite enemy in the entire game. While held, your coins can never fall below 6, 5% chance to, mm, pretty cool. Not useful right now, of course, but pretty cool. Hello, Dark Rock. Oh, for fuck's sake, the rock's respawned. Okay, can I just offer a suggestion, please? Can you please make it so that rocks can't spawn under fucking item pedestals? Because this is so frustrating. God damn. So frustrating when that happens. Didn't really want the chariot, but there you go. I'm sure look what my spin down was for this dark rock. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about it. We race forwards once again. Ah, oh my god. That's a lot of uh, rainbow poops right there. Could we get a lot done with that? Okay, not quite sure what happened in this room. I got a strength card and it seemed to just kill everything. <sighs> Sucks that we lost Empty Vessel. I'm hoping we get another Devil Beal here to trade this heart away. So I'd really like to have empty de empty vessel ready for the boss. Okay. If we get another charge for our active, let's not use it. We want to get as many charges as we can on the next floor. I'm going to go back and get the charge from this room over here. Oh, we need to be going to this room as well because it's free. While it is free, it's not stuff over there that I really care about. I like the way that your character goes through so many phases of what they look like throughout the run. We look like an absolute gimp to start with, and now we look like this. Good, good. we don't need keys. I'm not going to bother with that. Chariot again. Here is boss man. Whoa, what are you? Okay, I can't destroy whatever those are. Oh, it's Mr. Dead. I love this boss. He's gonna be dead very shortly, but I do like him. That could, could be turned to stem cells. I don't think that's really that big a deal. Lump of coal here would be pretty fantastic. Satanic Bible. It's good, but it, unfortunately, Spin Down just hasn't really been usable here, has it? Shame. Shame, any shame, shame, shame. Right. Let's go to the last floor of this run. We go crazy with our book. Hopefully, we get some good stuff. Let's see what our first one is. We get ourselves. Shade, 
Amazing. Um, is, yeah, it's shade, isn't it? My shadow. Wow, Hierophant there. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I like that noise. Okay, we'll do every single room we can before the boss fight to get as many charges as we can. Another pill. Um, I guess Melatonin's maybe more useful than Spin Down at this point. We'll see if we end up getting uh, another uh, item to use the Spin Down on, but I doubt it at this stage. Another charge coming in here. Whoopsie. This time we get Gertie Jr. The Girdster. The Girdster himself. Probably get at least one more charge. Unfortunately, so far, pretty bad rolls. Oh, that was kind of stupid. I should have coaxed these guys into the rock. Got a black out of it, though. Blackheart ain't bad. Look it up. Lovely. Sun card gives us... Oh, we got a lot of rooms left. Okay. Wasn't expecting that to be quite so many. I like this room that has the uh, machine so close to the door that it literally is charged for entry. Well... And our next invitee is Fat Chubby, Big Chubby. So many pills. I found pills. You have been hit. Dude. Hosts are the fucking worst enemies. God damn. Design enemies better. Stop just giving them immunity phases and thinking that's fun. It ain't fun. It ain't. Right. One more charge, baby. One more charge. And our last friend is Dry Baby. Actually, Dry Baby is pretty good. Okay. We spun the wheel and we got some decent stuff here. Charge for entry again. <clears throat> so fucking funny. Right, it's boss time. I don't know if Melatonin is going to be any good against this boss, really. But I guess I'll try it. Oh, dude, my my little fiend guy. Look at look at all the things he's created on it on that left arm there. There's so many. What the hell happened? Little fucking Gary doing literally nothing. I'm sorry, fella. Putting in a valiant effort, but. Yeah, look, look at all the little dudes that, like, this little fiend guy is quality zero. Quality zero, mind you. And he just absolutely pulls his weight. Like, I could probably leave them to just do the rest of the kill on their own. They don't expire. They last for the entire room's length. And more of them are constantly being generated. Like, look at the amount of damage they are doing without me. Like, you can't see them, but they are, like, the unsung heroes right now. Look at this army. A quality zero item. My ass. So good. Either way, nice victory there. A fun run. One brought from the brink of death. And rewarded with Guppy's Eye. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.